and the scenic Yorkshire Dales, Bolton Abbey is one of England's most cherished historic landmarks, known for its breathtaking landscapes, serene river views and stunning architecture. The Abbey attracts visitors from all around the world. Its history spanning nearly a millennium tells a rich story of faith, resilience and cultural heritage. Today's video, we're going to Bolton Abbey, nestled deep within North Yorkshire. Cost me £15 for entry. I think you pay per vehicle. Uh, no doubt it's on the screen. So the drone shots for this are going to be phenomenal. This place I've seen online, you see on TikTok and all social media, and it all looks pretty good. So I'm here to do my standard normal video, walk around, be in awe, go, wow, this place is amazing. Look at the size of this room. This is old. Shame this isn't the same. So pretty much that, but just epic drone shots like normal. So hopefully you're going to enjoy the video. So spot on. Let's have a look, shall we? So the Abbey itself, so the car park is a little bit away, but the Abbey itself is like, you have to walk to it. Which isn't a bad thing, because the little town that you're in, it's actually called Bolton Abbey. The town itself, here we go. Bolton Abbey is much more than a historic site. It is a haven for nature lovers and history enthusiasts alike. The surrounding estate with over 30,000 acres offers scenic walk trails along the River Wharf, including the famous Strid and narrow turbulent section of the river that has fascinated and awed visitors for generations. just come through a gate there's many gates to get in here but look at this I think it's actually um, a graveyard that's still used saying that I don't know it could be I'm not sure if it is that's pretty cool but look at this look how well maintained this grass is I've seen some grass in my time but this is some good grass look at that holy All of this sort of foundation works. Again, like every other castle and ruin, it's always the base layer of foundation that, that survives. And then you, could, you get these, like, archeologists. Okay, that's a bit windy. Jeez. Then you get these archeologists that come along and they're like, this is what the building used to look like and this is the room. Well, if we didn't keep knocking everything down in wars and all that kind of stuff, we'd actually still know. Look at that. That grass is amazing. The origins of Bolton Abbey date back to 1154 when the Augustrian monks established a monastery on the site. It was founded under the patronage of Lady Alice de Romil, a wealthy Norman aristocrat who was sought after to create a place of worship and reflection in the heart of the Yorkshire countryside. Originally known as the Priory of St Mary and St Cuthbert, the abbey became the centre of religious devotion, drawing both pilgrims and and scholars.
Throughout the 12th and 13th centuries, Bolton Abbey thrived, benefiting from the support of local powerful families and benefactors. The community of monks at the Abbey grew, living according to the rule of St. Augustine, which emphasized simplicity, charity, and prayer. The Abbey accumulated extensive land holdings, managing farms, granges, and mills, which contributed to its wealth and influence. This is going to sound strange, but this place is really clean. Like, I've been to quite a few of these castles and ruins and abbeys and cathedrals or whatever, but this one seems really clean. Like, the grass, look at the grass. It's so well maintained. The building, there's no graffiti, there's no metal fencing anywhere, it's all wooden. It just looks and, and seems really well maintained. I know the money for the car park. It costs £15 for the car, which I know that money goes towards the maintenance of this place, which I think is such a great idea. I don't know if it's owned by um, National Trust or English Heritage, I'm not too sure, but either way, whoever's maintaining this and looking after it is doing a, just a top-notch job. Just absolutely brilliant. It really is great. This place is up there is one of the best. And the other thing as well is, look how good the view is. Like literally, you've got a river there. Then there's like some sand beaches. And what they've also done is, you can obviously leave, once you've had your little wander and you've explored this place, there's trails and walks everywhere. And they've put bridges up, they've put all these kinds of things. So you don't just stuck here. There's like, there's like 6K walks that are just around which is incredible but you know not many other places do that so the money that they get is actually going to good use which i think is mm, banging which is definitely the way to do it more places should do this because i think you'd attract more people you're paying a little bit more to get in but you're attracting more people because they just want to see these incredible places you know people that used to live here phew, they'd be proud to see what this is now apart from the fact that it's ruins and it's not actually used for its intentional purpose but still nonetheless i think they'd be quite happy with it the peaceful life at bolton abbey came to an abrupt end during the reign of king henry the eighth the disillusion of the monasteries aimed to disband religious houses and confiscate their assets making a seismic shift in england's religious landscape Bolton Abbey, like many others, was not spared. In 1539, it was formally surrendered to the crown and its monastic life ceased. However, unlike many religious houses that were left to ruin, part of Bolton Abbey continued to serve as a parish church for the local community. And even to this day, it still stands doing just that. What I will say is this place is a very communal place. So there's, you know, there's a bloody ice cream truck thing there. It is a very communal place. And I think that's great. There's some stepping stones or something there. Enhance. See it? Look at that. A bit odd. Uh, yeah, it's a very communal place. There's a lot of families, there's a lot of people. You know, you could probably spend, I think the £15 for the vehicle is all day. I'll put more information on the on the screen so you know at least everyone knows but I, I am I'm sure it's all day if you were to get here in the morning you know you could come visit the castle castle do you know I keep calling them all castles now you can come and visit the abbey or church or whatever and do your little exploration jump some stepping stones probably fall in the water if I do it now my luck I'll cross the bridge instead and then just go on a nice hike or a nice walk because Yorkshire is, oh, golly, it's just unreal. It's so gorgeous. And today, it's beautiful weather. It's a bit windy. Drone got got a little, got a little twitchy with the drone, but you know, other than that, it's just been a, it's just a real nice place. But do bear in mind, you can. I got here at five, and the last. Um, people coming in is half five for the parking and then everything closes up at seven so the car park closes at seven 
So if you're going to do it, you want to get here early, really. Make the day of it, and then obviously leave when you get the chance. So, and there's a tea room, there's a pub in this little village as well. This thing's really cool. So this place has got pretty much everything you want for like a family day out. You're disabled, you can get around fairly easily as well. There's access everywhere. So um, it's literally everyone can come around here and have a look. Nothing's off limits for anyone. So I think that's real good. Um, so yeah, if you're going to come along, come along because it's probably a great day out. I am here by myself because I came after work and uh, literally just doing this. So I look a bit weird because I'm talking to a camera by myself in front of people. So, not weird at all. Despite the disillusion, Bolton Abbey has remained a focal point in the Yorkshire Dales. In the 19th century, the Duke of Devonshire, whose family owns much of the surrounding land, took significant steps to preserve and restore the abbey ruins. Today, visitors can explore the 12th century nave, which still serves as a functioning church alongside the atmospheric ruins that reflect the centuries of history. This place really does have everything. I, I would, I'm right, I'm, look, I'm not making excuses. Starting off, this is not an excuse, it's a reason. I would do the stepping stones, but I can't afford to slip in and then have my bag and my equipment get completely drenched. And then suddenly it's like 1,500 pounds worth of gear is soaked because I wanted to go over some stepping stones. So, not an excuse. It's a reason. They are cool though. Look at that. You don't see that every day, do you? 